Good evening, folks. Brad Cross here at BJC Outdoors. Hey, I'm here at home today. I uh, had some few people to ask about my boat, so I'm gonna do another walk around. I've done I've done a few things to it uh, to help me out uh, since the last video I done uh, on the boat. But uh, let me show y'all what we got here. It's a 1872 Sea Art uh, Super John. It's 28 inches deep on the sides. Uh, the beam is uh, 96 inches. Uh, so eight foot, eight foot beam. And then the floor uh, is 72 inches wide in the floor. A uh, big, big stable boat. Like I said, it's just a simple John boat, but it's a big boat. Uh, back here on the business end, I got a 90 horse Suzuki, four stroke. Uh, awesome little motor, man. I've never had a Suzuki. I couldn't afford a Yamaha. I didn't want a Mercury. So uh, I went with Suzuki. Man, I'm glad I, glad I did. This thing is very, very quiet. Uh, very cheap on gas and very powerful uh, For this boat here, it'll, it'll run 42 uh, Fully loaded with me in it. So a full tank of gas and everything and to me man, that's Plenty fast enough and almost dangerously fast to be holding on to a stick uh, You know, that's 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 pretty fast. I hardly ever run it wide open. Uh, I just I go where I'm going fishing and uh, usually cruise but uh you got a single axle trailer on it. Uh, it's not a very, very heavy boat, even though it's big. Uh, it does have a heavy duty hull. Uh, I think the hull is 3 sixteenths or 0.25, whatever they call that. Uh, it's got a lifetime warranty on the hull. Uh, up front here, I got the Minn Kota hull tricks. It's an 80 pound, 24 volt system. Uh, it's got the spot lock and uh, eye pilot and all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's uh, it's awesome, man, to do what I do. Uh, I've had two of them. The first one I put on here, it made me sick at my stomach, so I took it off and resold it for exactly what I give for it. Because uh, I, I just couldn't see spending that kind of money on a trolling motor. But uh, after I, I had used it, and once I got rid of it, I was like, man, I really need that back. So I went and bought another brand new one, and as long as I can afford it, that's probably what I'll use from now on. Uh, I hadn't had any problems out of it. I've had it about, I don't know, six months, maybe. Uh, but it works good like i said for dragging and stuff you can make your your routes you want to you want to stay on and uh and you know uh just set that path and you, you're good to go you just kick back and fish uh you sit up on spot lock you know you find some fish right right under the boat you can sit up on it you know don't have to worry about it it does make it you get in some areas like i fish you know where there's no current wind or a little current with no wind either way it uh you know it makes a lot of racket but i'm, I'm trying to filter that out uh figure out a way to get that sound off off the camera uh and on my uh something new i've done back here in the back uh i, I bought me some multi multi bar pole holders and man them things they're, they're awesome they help me out so much man from what i used to do uh the way i used to fish uh and some of my earlier videos uh i only use uh this one these are driftmaster pole holders i used this one and i had one right here on this base and uh because i used to fish dams i used to fish tail races and that was all i fished so that was perfect perfectly fine i throwed out two rods on each side out behind the boat anchored down that's perfectly fine but now i'm doing dragging suspending and several different things that i used to not do uh so the multi bars have helped me out a lot. I got right now. I got nine pole holders on the boat. I got two. Well, uh, don't have two up front. I got one up there now. I got one ordered, uh, and I got got eight back here. I don't use them all at the same time. I only use four rods at a time. If I'm dragging, I'll have two dragging on planer boards, uh, and I'll have two suspended offside the boat, or not suspended, but dragging offside the boat. And uh, I don't fish with a whole bunch of rods. Uh, it just looks like a tangling mess for me uh myself you know some people do it some people get good at it but for me uh that's that's how i fish uh, i seem to do better with two rods than i ever do with with four anyway uh up front here i got my got my old snack cooler there uh these two batteries right here in the middle are uh run my trolling motor it's a 24 volt system i got two batteries in that box and then i got a battery right over there beside it uh that runs my night fishing lights and uh my bait tank when i'm using live bait 
and I got a bank on top of it. And then over there in that corner, I got a two bank charger that's hooked to my 24 volt system here. So it keeps them charged. I keep that and plugged up all the time. Oh, uh, let's see. It's not a lot, man. Like I said, it's a simple rig. Let me get over in here where y'all can show y'all a little better. Oh, uh, most of my checking around, and that's my, my little buddy, Big Daddy. He's, he's a cat fisherman from way back. But anyway, uh, back when uh, I first found avionics, man, I do most of my uh, scouting and looking for places to fish at home. I use avionics on the phone, find places I want to fish, and when I get to the river, I go check them out, and I'll use my sonar and everything to kind of fine-tune everything. Navionics is an awesome tool to have, man. Uh, I don't know what I'd do, what I would do without it. Uh, but I got a nine-gallon gas tank. Uh, I can fish a long time on nine gallons. Uh, and back here, that's my cranking battery, and that's my light switch for my lights up front, my uh, bow stern light. Uh, and I got a bank bank charger back there in that counter for that battery. Oh, uh, and this is my necessity stuff. I got my uh, my pump for my bait tank. I got Keep Alive, uh, G Juice. I got all kind of stuff down in there for when I use live bait. I got my fire extinguisher. Of course, you got to have that. And then I got my throw cushion right there. Everything's legal. Uh, like I said, it's just a pretty simple setup, man. Like I said, it's a big boat. Uh, and on my camera up here, uh, I'll show y'all one day uh, what I do. But I put these two brackets right here. Uh, some kind of C clamp, I guess what you call them. I got one there, one there. Uh, and I got a pole for my camera that I stick down in them holes right there. Very simple. Matter of fact, it's a B&M fishing uh, cane pole. It's what I use for my camera pole. But it works, man. Hey, when I started this, I didn't know how it was going to go, so I wasn't going to put a bunch of money in it. So, But I'll show y'all that one day. Y'all just can't laugh at it because it is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty rigged. Uh, this seat base right here, I got one up front. I never use it. Uh, I've got seats that actually uh, come in and out of the boat. Uh, got their own legs. They're, uh, they're spider spider legs, I think is what they call them. They look like spiders, but they got a seat on them. And I can move them around in here if I got somebody fishing with me or, or I'm by myself. But most time when I'm by myself, uh, I'll sit right there. I got a seat that I put in here. And uh, like I said, I don't like a lot of stuff in the, in the way. I like I like an open floor where I can move around. You know, you get them big catfish in here. You know, I don't want them breaking stuff because you know they don't just lay there and be still most of the time. But I uh, got my big old big old net there and my my handy dandy cooter. Made it. Matter of fact, I got some. I got some good fresh skipjack down in there right now ready for tomorrow. Uh, gonna try to go down to Mississippi and fish on tomorrow if the wind lets me. It's, it's, it's gonna be rough here on on my lakes, Wheeler, Wilson, uh, and Pickwick. Uh, they're gonna be pretty, pretty bad. But Pickwick, I got a place down down there that's not that's kind of out of the wind on the northwest wind. But Wheeler's gonna be terrible tomorrow, and Wilson's gonna be terrible tomorrow. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go down to Mississippi and and uh, try to find me a, a creek down there or something that I can fish with and get out of the wind. Uh, I got to do something now. I got bait to cooler, so we got to do something. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it, man. It ain't uh, it's not nothing fancy. Like I said, I love my boat. I wouldn't take nothing for it. I had a bass boat. Uh, I had this same rig, matter of fact, uh, ten years ago, and I sold it. And bought me a bass boat. Me and my daughter were fishing bass tournaments, and uh, I sold I sold my flat bottom, which it had a sixty horse engine on it. I sold it, bought a bass boat, fished fish tournaments for I don't know, maybe eight years, maybe. And finally, I decided I was, when my daughter got grown and moved on with her life, we we quit fishing tournaments. So I decided if I ever got me another flat bottom like I had, I would never get rid of it. Well, I bought a brand new one in twenty twenty one. Well, it was actually 2020, but I didn't get it till 2021 because uh, the COVID delayed the, the process. And uh, I went with a 90 horse engine instead of a 60. Uh, but the boat was just a plain Jane uh, motor boat trailer. It didn't have anything in it. No seat bases, no wires. It didn't have no lights on it, no trolling motor. It didn't have anything. Uh, just a gas tank and the battery was it. Uh, so I had to put all that stuff in here and uh, rig it up the way I wanted it. Uh, which is good to have two of them because the first one I know things that I did 
that I didn't want to do again or that I did wrong. Uh, so on this one, I did everything exactly the way I want. Now there's a few things I like to have and do, and I, and I will later on. Uh, but right now we're just trying to uh, trying to fine tune everything. Uh, now these pole holders up here, I hardly ever use them. This one, this one, I actually got one order for this uh, drift master. Uh, I keep my net in that one. Uh, I moved it on that side the other day just to tie myself off to a, to the dock. But uh, that's the only reason I use these two up front. Uh, but like I said, it's a, that's my rig, man. The old tank. Like I said, it's, it's pretty much bulletproof. Now I've got buddies that's got brand new boats. And, you know, they have to work all the time. and never get to use them. They have to work all the time just to pay for it. And I didn't want that, man. I wanted something that I could afford. And, and when I go fishing, I, you know, can enjoy it without having the stress of a of a payment but uh like i said i'll never i'll never own a, another boat as long as i'm doing this y'all see me in this sea art uh and like i said i'll eventually have to one day buy a new trailer you know when this one rusts out from under the boat and of course the motor uh, i have to get a new motor here you know uh down the road but uh that's one good thing about the suzuki too it had a six year warranty on it so uh that's that, that's they, they run a good a good program out of out of suzuki man uh, but anyway, uh, I appreciate y'all watching the video, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to do this for a long time, but my boat's been nasty. I try to wash it every two or three weeks, but today I washed it, got it ready, but tomorrow I'm going to get it nasty again. So I wanted to kind of do this while it was cleaned up a little bit, not having no slime and blood all in the bottom of the boat. But uh, they do get nasty when you catfish, but hey, that's part of it. But uh, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers, man. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hey, hit that subscribe button, man. We're going we're gonna to go for this thing. We're halfway, man. Uh, you know, like I said, we've we got a lot more to do. Fishing's fishing to get good. You know, I started this thing last summer. Fishing was tough. Tough through the fall. And, uh, you know, had a couple good good hits, but uh, had some tough ones too. But that's just fishing. That's reality. And I ain't going to leave nothing out. Uh, but anyway, uh, Y'all stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see y'all then, and God bless you.